Hey boys and girls, welcome to our musical carpet. Summer and I are just having a little bit of fun learning our ABC song and singing really loud together. You ready to sing with us too? You are? Well, if you need an instrument, go ahead and go grab one. Ready? Here we go. Well, all together now. One, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Like we live in the United States and we need an umbrella because every letter makes a sound and the U has two sounds because it's a vowel and it makes an uh, uh, uh sound like an uh umbrella and you United States and we're celebrating unicorns. I love unicorns. Oh, what was that one? Oh, a little umpire I have. And then I also have some underwear as well as a unicycle. So we have our underwear, umbrella, umpire, and then our United States and our unicorn and unicycle because U says two different sounds. And this, this is an uppercase U right here and this is a lowercase u. U, U, U is our letter of the week. Oh wait, oh shoot, get your silliness out boys and girls because it's about to be story time. <laughs> We're gonna read a book called The Day the Duran Cranes Quit. Are you, are you done? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, The Day the Crayons Quit, and it is by Drew DeWalt. It's one of our favorites. <laughs> the Day the Crayons Quit by Drew DeWalt, and pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hey there, Junkin, it's me, Red Cram. You need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crams all year long. I wear myself out, coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest, your overworked friend. Red crayons. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm gonna completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. <laughs> Dear Duncan, <laughs> Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I'm beige and I'm proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Cran. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners if I'm lucky and wheat. And let's be honest, when's the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. <laughs> Dear Duncan, Gray Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know elephants are gray. But that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. 
and I don't even get me started on the rhino, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such a big animal. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks and pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Cram. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color of the page. You're using on me what? If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color in snow or filling empty spaces between other things, and it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. He's right there. Somewhere right there. <laughs> Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which that think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and, fill, and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometimes? Is that too much to ask? Your black, your friend, Black Cram. Black Rainbow? He looks thing? like he's pleading with him, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. hmm. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One to say that I like my workload of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish you a congratulations on your very successful coloring, coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is my friends yellow crayon and orange crayon are not no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking, and I can prove I am the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color the sun on your very happy farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal, the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Ooh, he doesn't look very happy though. Dear Duncan, I see yellow corn already talked the big whiner. Anyways, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know that I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday you used me to color the sun. Both, both the monkey island and the meet the zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal, the real color of the sun, orange crown. I think yellow is. Maybe a mixture of the two. Maybe. But I agree, more yellow. Ooh, I like this color. What color is this one? Blue. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color. The past years, and the year before and the year after that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the rail of the cram box anymore. I need a break, your very stubby friend, Blue Cram. 
He's so small. How much is he going to love with him anyway? <laughs> he uses him so much. So big. Dear Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl, a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me some time to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Oh my goodness, what happened to this one? Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping and now I'm naked? And too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help, your naked friend, Peach Crayon. <laughs> oh my goodness, all those letters. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And he gave, that gave him an idea. Oh wow, look, he did make a pink dinosaur. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Ooh. Hey, there's a black rainbow and the little penguins. Yeah, he listened to all of them. And an A plus for creativity. We hope you enjoyed the book too. Hey Summer, what are you doing? Hey, just doing a unicorn drawing. A unicorn drawing? And you're using watercolor? So what you do is you dip the pencil into the water like magic. These are watercolor color pencils. So she's getting creative with her unicorn coloring. I'm going to get creative with my unicorn coloring. And we're going to celebrate the letter of the week, which is you for unicorn. I love unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns too. I can't wait to see all your beautiful colorings. Thanks so much for joining us today. Bye. Bye.